Model predictive control is an advanced method of process control that has been in use in the process industries in chemical plants and oil refineries since the 1980s. In recent years it has also been used in power system balancing models. Model predictive controllers rely on dynamic models of the process, most often linear empirical models obtained by system identification. The main advantage of MPC is the fact that it allows the current time slot to be optimized, while keeping future time slots in account. This is achieved by optimizing a finite time horizon, but only implementing the current time slot. MPC has the ability to anticipate future events and can take control actions accordingly. PID and LQR controllers do not have this predictive ability. MPC is nearly universally implemented as a digital control, although there is research into achieving faster response times with specially designed analog circuitry. Overview The models used in MPC are generally intended to represent the behavior of complex dynamical systems. The additional complexity of the MPC control algorithm is not generally needed to provide adequate control of simple systems, which are often controlled well by generic PID controllers. Common dynamic characteristics that are difficult for PID controllers include large time delays and high-order dynamics. MPC models predict the change in the dependent variables of the modeled system that will be caused by changes in the independent variables in a chemical process. Independent variables that can be adjusted by the controller are often either the set points of regulatory PID controllers or the final control element. Independent variables that cannot be adjusted by the controller are used as disturbances. Dependent variables in these processes or other measurements that represent either control objectives or process constraints. MPC uses the current plant measurements, the current dynamic state of the process, the MPC models, and the process variable targets and limits to calculate future changes in the dependent variables. These changes are calculated to hold the dependent variables close to target while honoring constraints on both independent and dependent variables. The MPC typically sends out only the first change in each independent variable to be implemented, and repeats the calculation when the next change is required. While many real processes are not linear, they can often be considered to be approximately linear over a small operating range. Linear MPC approaches are used in the majority of applications with the feedback mechanism of the MPC compensating for prediction errors due to structural mismatch between the model and the process. In model predictive controllers that consist only of linear models, the superposition principle of linear algebra enables the effect of changes in multiple independent variables to be added together to predict the response of the dependent variables. This simplifies the control problem to a series of direct matrix algebra calculations that are fast and robust. When linear models are not sufficiently accurate to represent the real process nonlinearities, several approaches can be used. In some cases, the process variables can be transformed before and or after the linear MPC model to reduce the nonlinearity. The process can be controlled with nonlinear MPC that uses a nonlinear model directly in the control application. The nonlinear model may be in the form of an empirical data fit or a high fidelity dynamic model based on fundamental mass and energy balances. The nonlinear model may be linearized to derive a Kalman filter or specify a model for linear MPC. An algorithmic study by L. Gerwer, Budman, and L. Camel shows that utilizing a dual mode approach can provide significant reduction in online computations while maintaining comparative performance to a non altered implementation. The proposed algorithm solves n-convex optimization problems in parallel based on exchange of information among controllers. Theory behind MPC MPC is based on iterative, finite horizon optimization of a plant model. At time t the current plant state is sampled and a cost-minimizing control strategy is computed for a relatively short time horizon in the future. 
Specifically, an online or on-the-fly calculation is used to explore state trajectories that terminate from the current state and find a cost-minimizing control strategy until time. Only the first step of the control strategy is implemented, then the plant state is sampled again and the calculations are repeated starting from the new current state, yielding a new control and new predicted state path. The prediction horizon keeps being shifted forward and for this reason MPC is also called receding horizon control. Although this approach is not optimal, in practice it has given very good results. Much academic research has been done to find fast methods of solution of Euler-Lagrange type equations. To understand the global stability properties of MPC's local optimization, and in general to improve the MPC method. To some extent the theoreticians have been trying to catch up with the control engineers when it comes to MPC. Principles of MPC model predictive control is a multivariable control algorithm that uses an internal dynamic model of the process, a history of past control moves and an optimization cost function j over the receding prediction horizon. To calculate the optimum control moves, an example of a nonlinear cost function for optimization is given by, without violating constraints with, equals ith controlled variable equals ith reference variable equals ith manipulated variable equals weighting coefficient reflecting the relative importance of equals weighting coefficient penalizing relative big changes in etc. Nonlinear MPC, nonlinear model predictive control, or an MPC, is a variant of model predictive control that is characterized by the use of nonlinear system models in a prediction. As in linear MPC, an MPC requires the iterative solution of optimal control problems on a finite prediction horizon. While these problems are convex in linear MPC, in nonlinear MPC they are not convex anymore. This poses challenges for both an MPC stability theory and numerical solution. The numerical solution of the NMPC optimal control problems is typically based on direct optimal control methods using Newton type optimization schemes. In one of the variants, direct single shooting, direct multiple shooting methods, or direct collocation. NMPC algorithms typically exploit the fact that consecutive optimal control problems are similar to each other. This allows to initialize the Newton-type solution procedure efficiently by a suitably shifted guess from the previously computed optimal solution, saving considerable amounts of computation time. The similarity of subsequent problems is even further exploited by path-following algorithms that never attempt to iterate any optimization problem to convergence but instead only take one iteration towards the solution of the most current NMPC problem before proceeding to the next one, which is suitably initialized. While NMPC applications have in the past been mostly used in the process and chemical industries with comparatively slow sampling rates, NMPC is more and more being applied to applications with high sampling rates, e.g., in the automotive industry or even when the states are distributed in space. As an application in aerospace, recently, an MPC has been used to track optimal terrain following avoidance trajectories in real time. Robust MPC, robust variants of model predictive control are able to account for set-bounded disturbance while still ensuring state constraints are met. There are three main approaches to robust MPC. Min-max MPC. In this formulation, the optimization is performed with respect to all possible evolutions of the disturbance. This is the optimal solution to linear robust control problems. However, it carries a high computational cost. Constraint tightening MPC. Here the state constraints are enlarged by a given margin so that a trajectory can be guaranteed to be found under any evolution of disturbance. Tube MPC. This uses an independent nominal model of the system and uses a feedback controller to ensure the actual state converges to the nominal state. 
The amount of separation required from the state constraints is determined by the robust positively invariant set, which is the set of all possible state deviations that may be introduced by disturbance with the feedback controller, multi-stage MPC. This uses a scenario tree formulation by approximating the uncertainty space with a set of samples and the approach is non-conservative because it takes into account that the measurement information is available at every time stages in the prediction and the decisions at every stage can be different and can act as recourse to counteract the effects of uncertainties. The drawback of the approach however is that the size of the problem grows exponentially with the number of uncertainties in the prediction. Horizon Commercially available MPC software Commercial MPC packages are available and typically contain tools for model identification and analysis, controller design and tuning, as well as controller performance evaluation. A survey of commercially available packages has been provided by SJ, Keen and TA, Badgewell and Control Engineering Practice 11733-764.